Hello dear friends, our today's topic is a very special kind of rearrangement reaction which is called as Schmidt rearrangement reaction. Let's look at the general scheme of this reaction. This reaction is employed with various types of starting material and a special reagent which is called as hydrazoic acid. Look at the structure of hydrazoic acid. It is a three nitrogen containing molecule attached with a single hydrogen. It is commonly written as N3H. So whenever it is N3H, that means it is hydrazoic acid. So when hydrazoic acid is treated with carboxylic acid, RCOOH, in presence of acid and water molecule, there is liberation of nitrogen gas and carbon dioxide and this leads to formation of the amine RNH2. So if we look at this hydrazoic acid and the carboxylic acid and if we remove N2 that is nitrogen from here and carbon dioxide from here only this NH along with this R and this H will remain as the product. So it will become RNH2 and it is called as amine. When hydrazoic acid is treated with ketone, there is formation of amide that is CONH. Here the NH group is get inserted between the carbonyl carbon and the alkyl group. For example, if this is the carbonyl carbon and this is the alkyl group, the NH group is gets inserted over here. Or in this case, if we look at this example, this NH is gets inserted between this carbonyl carbon and this alkyl group to give this amide. So whenever hydrazoic acid is treated with ketone, there is formation of amide by insertion of NH. That means the reactant or the starting material and the product differ by one group. When hydrazoic acid is treated with aldehyde RCOH, there is formation of RC triple bond N which we commonly call as cyanides and more accurately they are called as nitriles. When hydrazoic acid is treated with tertiary alcohol, there is formation of this imine with insertion of the NH group between the carbon and one of the alkyl group and by removal of the hydroxy group. When hydrazoic acid is treated with alkene, so there is once again formation of the imines that is the molecule containing double bond between carbon and the nitrogen. Here also we can view that the NH group is gates inserted between this doubly bonded carbon and one of the alkyl group. So if we look more closely at all the products as we go for the summary, the hydrazoic acid on reaction with acid gives formation of amine. Hydrazoic acid on reaction with ketone gives the amide. On reaction with aldehyde it gives formation of the nitrile. On reaction with hydrazoic acid, on reaction of hydrazoic acid with tertiary alcohol, it gives the formation of imine. The hydrazoic acid on treatment with alkene gives the formation of imine. So this is the general scheme of this Schmidt rearrangement reaction. Now look, let's look at the mechanism for the carboxylic acid as I mentioned in the previous reaction that the hydrazoic acid on treatment with carboxylic acid gives formation of primary amine. So let's look how it takes place. 
the starting material is acid and it is treated with the mineral acid which gives the H plus ion. The H plus ion goes on to this hydroxy group and this hydroxy group is gets converted to the water molecule that is OH2. Once water molecule is formed, it is removed out or released out from here and when the water molecule is removed out, this carbon will become electron deficient and it will become carbocation. So when this carbocation reacted with this hydrochloric acid, this N that is the nitrogen which bears the negative charge attack on this positively charged carbon and thus gives the formation of this addition product over here. But when this addition takes place, this N2 is liberated as nitrogen gas. By doing so, this nitrogen takes the lone pair of electron from this bond. So this nitrogen now will become electron deficient and to fulfill the deficiency of electron of this nitrogen, this electron releasing alkyl group will migrate over this nitrogen. So there is a bond formation between nitrogen and this alkyl group. When this bond is broken down, a new bond is formed between this carbon and this nitrogen. So with this, we have the formation of this intermediate species. Here we can see that this alkyl group is migrated on this nitrogen and the double bond is generated over here. Once again, the nitrogen is positively charged species because it has four bonds over here. So this nitrogen being electronegative attract the electron pair of this pi bond and thus this carbon will become the electron deficient. So when this isocyanate derivative is treated with the water molecule, this negatively charged hydroxy group move, moves on to the carbon or attack on carbon and this positively charged hydrogen then attacks on this nitrogen to give this corresponding carboxylic acid derivative. Dear students, we can view here that the hydrogen is gets attached onto the nitrogen while the hydroxy group is gets attached onto the carbon to form the COOH group that is carboxylic acid. So being acid, it liberates the proton. So when the proton liberation takes place from this hydroxy group, this oxygen will carry the full negative charge over here. That means it carries the pair of electron. So it use this pair of electron to make a double bond with this carbon. So this portion will become CO2 now that is carbon dioxide. So when this bond is being forming, so this bond between carbon and nitrogen is being broken. So once the carbon dioxide molecule is formed from this portion, this bond is get broken down and there is formation of this amine that is called as the primary amine. So in this way starting with carboxylic acid we will get formation of corresponding amine. Let's look the mechanism of action for the ketone. With ketone the hydrogenic acid react in the familiar way of nucleophilic addition reaction. The negatively charged nitrogen attack on the positively charged carbon of carbonyl group while the positively charged hydrogen goes to this electronegative oxygen like here. So here we get the nucleophilic addition product. This addition product reacted with the acid. The, the proton given by acid will then goes on to the hydroxy group thus the hydroxy group is gets converted to the water molecule and once water molecule is formed it is removed out from here 
so this bond will be broken down and a new bond between this carbon and this nitrogen will be formed over here once the bond is formed the nitrogen gas that is n2 molecule will be liberated out from this place and when this liberation takes place this nitrogen now will become the electron deficient whose electron deficiency have to be fulfilled by migration of this alkyl group onto this nitrogen please keep this point in mind that in this case only that alkyl group will migrate which is in anti position to the nitrogen so this alkyl group is in anti position while this alkyl group is in the syn position that means on the same side so this alkyl group will migrate on to this nitrogen and this gives the formation of this carbocation over here this pathway is called as beckman's pathway if we look at this species here is a carbocation so when this treated with water molecule the oxygen of water gets attack on to this carbon and thus we have this intermediate now which released out one proton and thus the oh2 molecule gives the corresponding hydroxy group like here now in this molecule here is a double bond and here is a hydroxy group so it is considered as in all so as i mentioned in my previous videos also that whenever there is in and all that means it is gets converted into corresponding carbonyl group so here in this case also this in all is gets converted into this corresponding conh group this do so by migration of this proton from the hydroxy group to this nitrogen so in this way starting with ketone we will arrive at formation of the amide so dear students please keep some important point in mind that this reaction is very commonly given by the carboxylic acid that means the uh, the number of examples are with carboxylic acid if a molecule contain all the functional groups like carboxylic acid the aldehyde the ketone the acid and alcohol if all these groups are present in a single molecule it is the alkyl or the cyclic ketone portion which react faster than the other functional molecules now one important point is that the good results are obtained when the alkyl group is aliphatic and is a long chain if the alkyl group is aromatic ring like benzene ring the good results are obtained for sterically hindered compounds that means the benzene ring or aryl ring containing the substituent groups at the ortho and the para position a classical example for this is the reaction of mesetoic acid which we will look into the examples so let's quickly look at the examples of the schmidt riemann reaction if the benzophenone is treated with hydrochloric acid there is formation of corresponding benzanilide so dear students if we look at the starting materials it is a ketone and it is hydrochloric acid so as i mentioned earlier that whenever it is a ketone that means the nh group is gets inserted between the carbonyl carbon and the alkyl or the in this case it is aryl group so this nh group is gets inserted between this portion and it will get formation of conh so it will become a mite let's look at the second example mesetoic acid which is nothing but 246 tri methyl benzoic acid when it is reacted with hydrochloric acid there is removal of nitrogen gas the carbon dioxide and there is attachment of this amino group at that is nh on to the carbon which was previously holding the coh group so it gives the formation of 
this product which is called as 246 trimethyl aniline so dear students please look at the example very carefully and observe that what products we are getting next look at the next example of the alcohol when alcohol is treated with hydrochloric acid the hydroxy group is get substituted with the this N3H group and which on further reaction gives formation of the six member ring that means the five membered ring is gets converted into a six member ring so five carbons are from here and one of the nitrogen from hydrochloric acid will make up this six membered ring and this is there is the generation of a mine so this propyl substituent cyclopentanol compound gives this propyl substituent this tetrahydropyridine ring look at the next example it is called as 2-ethyl cyclopentanol so dear student it is a ketone so whenever it is a ketone that means it is gets converted to the corresponding amide the NH group is get inserted between this carbon and carbon and this carbon which is attached with the alkyl group over here. So in this way starting with cyclopentanone we will get this piperidine 2 on derivative. Next look at the next examples. For example this, this compound which contains two rings one is benzene ring uh, attached with the cyclohexanone ring when this is treated with sodium azide in presence of polyphosphoric acid there is formation of the cyclic amide now in this case the NH group is get inserted between this aromatic carbon and this carbonyl carbon as I mentioned that that is the aromatic ring now which will get migrate onto the nitrogen that means the NH from sodium sorry this sodium azide will get inserted between this carbon of aromatic ring and this carbonyl carbon so with this we have formation of this cyclic amide in this case the product obtained is this Benjo Ajepin 2 on drink. Look at the next example. If a single molecule consists of the COOH group, that is carboxylic group, and the hydroxide portion, it is this negatively charged nitrogen which then attack on to that carbon which bears the COOH group over here. So COO will be liberated out as carbon dioxide and this N2 molecule will be liberated out as the nitrogen gas and thus we have the formation of this five membered pyrrolidin ring. So dear student that is all about the Schmidt rearrangement reaction. Thanks for watching the video. Please like share and subscribe. Thank you.